Hello, welcome to this lesson where we want to look at uh, matrices and the way the questions are phrased in paper 2 of ECZ exams. So we have three questions on the board and um, let's see the process that is supposed to be carried out in order to solve those questions. Okay, so we start with the first one. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Let's look at the first one. Given that matrix A is given by this, okay? Find the value of x for which the determinant of a is 36. For which the determinant of a is 36. So what are we supposed to do? Okay? What are we supposed to do here? Let's find the solutions. So the first thing that we're supposed to do is um, to cut out the process, okay? To cut out the process of us finding the determinant. How do we find the determinant? You know that to find the determinant, we find the product of these elements in the meta diagonal. The product, I mean, you multiply 3 by 6, what do you get? 3 by 6 minus the product of the elements in the minor diagonal, which is going to be what? 2 multiplied by x. This must give us what? 36. Are we together? That's the process. So then this, what we get? We get 18 minus 2, x is equal to 36. Then, what are we supposed to do? Minus 2 is equal to 36 minus 18. 18 must come the other side. Okay? Don't make a mistake of leaving out the minus here. So minus 2, x is equal to 18 here. So, we divide both sides by negative 2, we divide by negative 2. What do we get? x is equal to negative 9. This is what we are going to have. x is equal to negative 9. Then we look at the, the inverse. Okay? How do we find the inverse? How do we find the inverse of the same question? How do we find the inverse? So for the inverse of A, it's equal to 1 over the determinant multiplied by the adjoint of this uh, matrix. So what are we supposed to do? Uh, 1 over 36, which is the determinant, multiplied by the adjoint. What is the adjoint? What we said is that these two elements in the major diagonal, okay, these ones, they need to swap positions. So you are going to have 3 here and 6 here. Then remember that this is negative 9 here now. This is negative 9, which is the value of x. So after you have found the value of x here, these two elements in the minor or training diagonal, they are supposed to change, they will change their signs. So meaning this one will be negative, this one will be positive. We can leave it at this point. Don't bother yourself to divide, I mean to simplify. You can leave it here. You will still get the same number of marks. So having done this, we need to proceed and look at the other question. We need to proceed and look at the other question, which is the second one. Find the value of P if the determinant is negative 2. So we cut out the same process. We cut out the same process here. So we are going to say 7 multiplied by 5P minus 9 multiplied by 4P. This must give us negative 2. Are we together? So here we get 35P minus 36P is equal to negative 2. When you subtract here, what do you get? Remember, we are subtracting a bigger number from a smaller number. So this is going to give us negative P. Negative 2 this side. Negative P here. Which is the same as negative 1P. So we divide here by negative 1. We divide by negative 1. So P is equal to 2. 
That is the value of P. That is the value of P. So we now look at the inverse. What is our inverse? So if this is the value of P, then this matrix is the same as 7, uh, 9, and this part you multiply 2, 4 multiplied by 2, which is our P. Then it is 8, 5 multiplied by 2, then it is 10. This is our matrix. So to find to find the inverse, to find the inverse, we are going to say 1 over the determinant, which is what? Negative 2. Here we write the adjoint. Remember I said this one and this one, they will swap. So 10 will be here, 7 will be this one. Then this 2, what is it? What will happen? These two will change their signs. The other two, they will change their signs. Alright, so we're going to have negative 8 and negative 9. This is what is going to be our answer. Alright, so we go to the last one. We go to the last one. Given that matrix A is this, matrix B is this one. Find the value of Y for which these two matrices have the same determinant. A and B, they have the same determinant. Okay? And we want to find the value of Y. Okay? So we can find the determinant of this one and then use it to find Y because we are told the determinant are the same. So we can find the determinant of this matrix. The determinant of this matrix is... The determinant of this matrix is 2 multiplied by 4 minus 1 multiplied by negative 5. This is going to give us 8 minus negative 5. And this is going to give us 8 plus 5. What do we get? 13. This is what we are going to get as our determinant. Okay? This is what we are going to get as the determinant of A. But we are told that the two matrices have the same determinant. So we can conclude that even this one, which is what? It is Z. The determinant is Z. 13. So now we can use 13 to find the value of Y. So we are going to find the determinant. Of, so we multiply 5 multiplied by 8. 5 multiplied, 5 multiplied by 8 minus... 3 multiplied by y is equals to 13. This is going to give us what? 40 minus 3 y. This must give us what? 13. So here we have minus 3 y. This is equals to 13 minus minus 40 minus 40. Okay? So at this point, what do we get? Okay? Now we need to know what we're supposed to get here. What are we supposed to get? This is going to give us uh, minus 3y is equals to... What are we getting here? We'll get negative 27. We're going to get negative 27. So, then we go on. We divide both sides by negative 3. We divide both sides by negative 3. So our y is equals to positive 9. Okay? Our y is equals to positive 9. So you can put 9 here and try to work out the determinant to see if you are going to get 13. So when we want to write this matrix in, in full, it's going to be 8. 9, 3, and 5. That is that matrix there. Then, what are we supposed to do next? To write the inverse. Let's find the inverse of B, which is this matrix. And I told you that the inverse of B, which is denoted as, it's going to be 1 over the determinant. What determinant do we find? We found 13. In open brackets, what did I say? These two are supposed to change position. So you have 5, then 8 here. These ones, they will change their signs. And as 3, 
minus 9. This is the inverse here. This one is the inverse. So this was it to summarize and show you how the questions are phrased in paper 2. Okay? So these questions have been drawn from the past exam papers, even those that I'm going to give you for the exercise. They are also coming from past exam papers. I hope you have managed to follow the lesson and you are going to answer the questions in the exercise correctly. So that is the idea. Otherwise, thank you very much. Now let me give you an exercise. Okay? Let me give you an exercise. Let me give you an exercise. So we are supposed to do A here. A matrix that has no inverse, the determinant is zero. Take note of that. A matrix that has no inverse, the determinant is zero. It's the same as a singular, singular matrix. If they tell you that such a, a, a given matrix is singular, just know that the determinant is zero. So do this question here. Okay. There's also this one here. 2A. 2A. Just do that. Okay. There. I'm sure you know that x multiplied by 2x there, you're going to have 2x squared, okay. So we go to the next, this one here. There's another one here. There's also another one here. This is 2016. This one is the same as one of the examples that I gave you. Here is the last one, question 2B, that's the last one, thank you very much for